welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm riding around on the Lyric Graffiti, and like yesterday, or the uh, last video, which was put up yesterday, today is another hot day as we are in an excessive heat warning, which is going to carry on for several days here. Temperature right now is exactly 100 degrees as I go for the ride. So this will be a quick ride in this heat. I can really feel my arms baking uh, just uh, out here in the short time I've been out here so far. So uh, let's get past the stop sign. So on this video, it's got a little bit to do with heat, but it's got many things uh, that are um, coming into play on this video. And what we're talking about is battery range. And battery range is never what they tell you it's going to be. Um, you know, they give you the uh, the range of your uh, battery, how far you're going to get miles wise, and they'll say 50 to 80 or 40 to 60 or whatever. I never believe that. First of all, whenever they give you that, it's always in the lowest pedal assist level, which I don't know of any rider. There, there may be a few of you out there, but most riders change their pedal assist from time to time, if not a lot. Or you may just throttle and not even pedal at times, or not pedal at all. Like when I'm on this bike, the Allure Graffiti, uh, I do not pedal it. It's not a pedal bike really for me. It's, it's a get on and throttle bike. But, it's not just pedal assist one or what pedal assist level you're using or whether you're using just the throttle. There's other factors such as what we're in right now, extreme heat. I mean, if you're out there in 100 degree weather, that's going to affect your battery more than if it was 70 degrees. And the wind, I'm riding right now into a, a wind that's going to affect the size of the rider. I'm about 175 pounds right now, uh, but not everybody is 175 pounds. Some people are less, some people are more. Uh, you may have cargo that you're carrying too. Or you may, like this bike can do, carry a second rider. That's going to affect, but they never tell you um, all of that. They just give you the pedal assist level uh, one. And uh, under the best conditions, this is what you're going to get. But I, I never believe that. My motto is always one mile per amp hour. And I'm always thinking of throttle only so that you're, you're covering yourself, you know, that you're not gonna go too far and, and worry about uh, running out of battery. So like right now, this bike has two 17.5 amp hour batteries. So to me, this bike should be able to get 35 miles. That's the way I look at it. And if I get more, then great. Um, if I get less, then uh, not so great. Um, and I should be able to get that. So that's the way I look at it. But you know, there's other things too that come into play. And stuff like, how often do you stop and start? And when you do stop and start, 
are you using a throttle maybe you're pedaling and using pedal assist one but maybe to get yourself started from a stop you're using your throttle and if you're using your throttle obviously that's going to use a little more of the battery so there's there's so many things that come into play that you can't really say for sure there's no there's no uh, way of knowing so right now i'm riding at exactly 20 miles per hour well now it went up to 21 but about 20 miles per hour now it went up another mile and i'm looking at my watts is what i was trying to look at here so i'm riding right now 21 miles an hour and a 672 watt watts i'm using of power now i want to turn right here And this is going up a bit of a hill right here. You know, it's 100 degrees right on the nose when I came out for this ride. And we're not at that peak temperature of the day yet. So I'm not sure how high it's going to go. Maybe 103 or 4 looks like, possibly. But um, I'll say this, that that little bit of a breeze that we have going on right now, or a little more than a breeze, a little wind, is kind of nice to fan you when you're riding, and also the ride itself, you get a little fanning. It's when you stop, you really feel that heat, although I can still feel the heat baking on me right now as I ride and we're not going to make this ride too long just riding around here we still have the flags up from 4th of July here Yeah, we're in this excessive heat warning for several days here. We're, we're going to be uh, triple digits. It's, it's kind of uh, been a weird spring and early summer so far. Like the late spring and early summer, we were up and down like a yo-yo. A few nice days, but then we had some... Uh, some, wow, uh, you know, cool uh, wear your uh, jacket days as well. So, been a bit of an up and down. But now I think we're fully into the summer here as we're into July. and It'll go by so quickly though. Blink of an eye, it's gone. So if you want to leave a comment in the comments below and let us know uh, about your battery and, and how far you get on your bike for, with a charge. Uh, you get a pretty good idea on your own bike once you're riding it. Uh, especially if you're riding it on a daily basis, you get a pretty good idea of what you're going to get mileage wise. But when you're buying a new one, until you get the bike and experience um, the bike and the distance and all, you can't really tell uh, for sure. You can guess. Uh, a few other things, uh, I didn't mention the bike weight too, that's going to come into play as well. As well as the rider and the cargo that you're uh, using or uh, have on board. Oh, 
know somebody's doing some barbecuing and it smells great. Alright, well that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you uh, would like to subscribe to the channel and help support us, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And like I said, if you want to comment on this or, or any other video, leave that in the comments below. Maybe you can let us know in the comments uh, the uh, bike you have the range and your what is your voltage on your bike and motor size so once again thank you for joining me on this video on this hot day oh my goodness i can really feel it until next time keep your wheels on the road see you later